Splish, splash, I'm taking a bath. I used to have a sign up in my in my old bathroom <laughs> that said that when I was when I was a kid. Uh, anyway, guys, we're we're here with more Yu-Gi-Oh news. The other day, uh, a couple days ago, now um, we got an entire slew of uh, Gladiator Beast support cards. Ten Gladiator Beast support cards confirmed for Chaos Impact and revealed for. Um, you know, effects and stuff. And now we've got the Arrow Mages. If you remember, uh, like a week ago, maybe a little bit over a week ago, we got uh, two little news reveals of, um, I believe, some store in, um, I don't, I want to say Japan. It might not have been Japan, but there was a store um, somewhere. And they put up posters that pretty much showed Gladiator Beast monsters, but obviously no effects, and then showed some what we assumed to be Arrow Mage monsters with no effects. We got the Gladiator Beast, and now we've got the Arrow Mages. We have all the effects confirmed. I don't know if this is everything. We got to assume it's everything. Like, why would they just hold random cards from the same set without revealing it? But we've got, I think, five here three monsters, a spell, and a trap. So, uh,. I don't want to waste too much time talking about it, or, well, not talking about it, but not talking about the effects, so let's just jump right into it. Alright, so we're going to start with Aeromage Laurier, Laurier, um, this one, this one was in the artwork here, um, flame shoes, the shoes are flames, I need me a pair of those, <laughs> that's a bad joke, um, alright, Laurier, it is a wind plant. Level 1 monster with 800 attack, 0 defense. You can only use all three of its effects once um, and once per turn each. Um, you can, yeah, you can, you can use all three in the same turn, just only once, uh, each one per turn. Uh, once per turn. First effect says, if your life points are higher than your opponent's, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, gets on the field pretty quick for the hand. I like that. Second effect, if you gain life points, target one monster, one plant monster, sorry, on the field, and that monster is treated as a tuner monster this turn. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool as well. Third effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you gain, you can gain 500 life points. All right, so a couple of cool effects going on here. I like that there's so many effects just built into a level one. There easily could have been, could have been way less um, built into this card. It's just a level one. Um, I like the part, the way that it dumps itself out of the hand. I wish it was more like if you control a plant monster, special summon this from hand. I think that would have been a little more better, um, just because you do need some other pieces in your hand to make sure you get your life points above your opponents to be able to do this, but. Uh, I think it's important to remember that even though this does just kind of seem like a, a black wing effect, you know, an effect that just gets, like, s turbos itself from the hand, that uh, this deck has a Link Monster in Aroma Seraphy Jasmine that is absolutely bananas, absolutely bonkers. So all you need to do is, like, half the time, like, if you can just make Jasmine, this deck goes. So uh, that's just any two plants on the field. Um, with a soon maybe one more, but this card definitely helps with that. Um, I'm sure that tuner effect will come in handy. We do have another synchro monster um, coming up here in a couple cards, but um, so that may be handy or making just synchro plays in general, which is pretty cool. And then also if uh, that gaining life points, obviously we're playing Ar Ar uh, arrow mages. A lot of their effects aren't even once per turn um, that activate when you gain life points, so um, that can be really strong as well. So. Uh, we will see, but I like this card. I think it's a good start a nice little uh, support card for the engine For uh, the deck right there. Then we have arrow mage Marjoram, so I guess like Marjorie, but can, can, can Combined with jam. I don't know uh, It's a dark plant monster level 5 with 2,000 attack and 1600 defense You can only use the first and third effect of this card once per turn each First effect says when a plant monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand, then gain 500 life points. Okay. While your life points are higher than your opponent's, you take no battle damage from battles involving your plant monsters. Okay. If you gain life points, target cards in your opponent's graveyard up to the number of Aroma monsters you control and banish them. All right, so I'm, I'm actually rather disappointed in this card. Um, the one thing this deck definitely needed was a little bit of speed. 
and this does nothing for speed. I mean, you gotta wait for you gotta wait for a, a plant monster you control to be destroyed by battle specifically. Can't even be destroyed by card effect, which a lot of decks like to do. Just literally remove your opponent's whole board and then just go in the battle phase and, and ruin them. I don't know. This is I feel like this it's just way too slow. Um, like the second effect is like doesn't really do much, just saves your life points a little bit, which is fine. And then the third effect, uh, letting you uh, DD Crow stuff, but again, this only triggers when you uh, gain life points, so it, it can, if your opponent has some kind of effect that can trigger, they may be able to trigger before you get the chance to, so uh, get that stuff out of grave, not let it get banished so easily. It just seems overly too slow. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it will be playable in the, because the deck may rely on battle a lot, but I think overall this card is just super <laughs> underwhelming to me. We'll move to our Synchro Monster, our new boss-ish monster. I actually like this card. Her design is absolutely adorable. Um, and let's get to it. What's your name? What's your name? We have Aroma Seraphy Sweet Marjoram. Um, she's a light plant synchro effect monster. She's a level 6 synchro uh, with 2,200 attack and 2,000 defense. She takes any tuner and any non-tuner, so she's completely generic, which I kind of like, so maybe there will be some spicy text you'll be able to play in the deck. The first effects, oh I'm sorry, first and third are hard ones per turns. If this card is synchro summoned, you can add one human wins, dried wins, or blessed wins from your deck to your hand. Oh boy, okay, okay, let's get to the other effects and then we'll go back here. While your life points are higher than your opponent's, your opponent cannot target plant monsters you control with card effects. That's actually a nice little protection effect, making every plant monster you control immune to targeting. Um, definitely relevant, definitely relevant. And then if you gain life points, target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So, first effect, let's start there. We have Humid Winds, Dried Winds, and Blessed Winds. Blessed Winds is a new card. Uh, that'll be below, that we'll get to in a minute, but Humid Winds and Dried Winds are cards that are already out. Both are trap cards, Humid Winds being a really nice uh, search card where just I think every turn you could pay a thousand life points to add any Aroma card from deck to hand. It's continuous, so just every turn you can do that, and obviously Aromages are constantly trying to keep your life points above your opponent, so you need to mitigate when it's really worth to spend that thousand to search. Um, Right, you spend a thousand, you search, but you need to make sure your life points are still going to be higher than your opponent, or that you still have a way to gain life points from there. But um, that's a really nice card. Dried Winds being a very nice card as well. Uh, that is a very strong removal card, where I believe like if you gain life points, it just like destroys something. Um, I, I can't remember exactly what Dried Winds does, but it's a nice little like continuous trap that just like helps you remove threats from the board. And then we'll get to Blessed Winds, another nice card. Uh, the protection is pretty solid. Like I said, targeting is pretty relevant. Obviously, there are ways around it, but it may force your opponent into an awkward play, uh, which is never bad because it can just force them to waste maybe a couple more resources than they otherwise would or something else. So I like that a lot. And then the third effect, just destroying something. Is it dried in? Not to the fullest effect. I mean, like, if I guess if you have a, um, like a, like a, an effect to gain life points that you can activate completely on the fly, like you don't need to chain to anything or whatever, then I guess it sort of can be like dried in, but it's still solid, it's just a still solid effect. Like I thought this would be fine even with just the first, first and second effect. Like solid protection and you just get to search one of your three main cards in your deck, right? Pretty good. Uh, but this like extra pop is pretty good every turn as well, just adding that. So I like this card a lot. I think it's a solid boss monster. I think it's probably the best boss monster specific to the archetype we have now. Uh, and I really like her. I think Margaram is really good. Then we have Aroma Gardening, a continuous spell card uh, with two hard ones return effects. The first effect reads, if you normal or special summon an Aroma monster or monsters, you can gain a thousand life points. Okay, more cards that just gain you life points. Nice to see. Second effect, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, you can special summon one aroma monster straight from your deck. So that effect's kind of weird. I mean, so it seems in a weird place to me because in my my mind, I feel like you just probably go all in on cards that are going to get you higher than your opponent in life points. But I guess it is kind of nice just to have a card that um, is just like, hey, um, like 
this is helpful even if you don't because a lot of the effects you kind of can just lose kind of like strikers if strikers are never able to put three spells in grave that's what this deck is like if you're not able to keep your life points above your opponents um, so this can really punish you for that um, but it allows but this card helps allow to make up for it by just getting some of your aromas straight out of the deck which is pretty nice um, then we move to the last card, Blessed Winds, the one that is searchable off of our new Synchro. Really cool card. Uh, Continuous Trap. Um, and you can only activate one of this effects, one of this card's effect once per turn. Uh, first effect. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. The first effect of this card is a once per turn, a hard once per turn. Oh, this, okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I was confused. I was like, we have three here. Why is this one? Okay. You just choose one, but you can only activate that once per turn. Gotcha. Cool. Um, first, so you just pick one to activate one, one time, once per turn. Send one play monster from your hand or face up field to the graveyard to gain 500 life points. Target one plant monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, then gain 500 life points. Or you can pay a thousand life points to special summon one aroma monster from your graveyard. Okay, now I really like this card. This card, uh, not entirely reminds, not really reminds me of, um, sub terror final battle um a card i'm very fond of but it, in the same vein that it stays up every turn and you just get to pick one of the three effects um i know people will think like the first and the second effect are like kind of do but they're i think this first effect is actually kind of slept on just because you have cards like the level one tuner that you can just dump to graveyard and it if you can put another aroma in grave will be able to get itself back which can be huge especially for doing combos with uh, your link monsters and stuff and extending into your um new synchro monster which is really nice the second one i feel like is the worst one i feel like it'll do that the least amount um maybe if like you need to like put some stuff back into your deck if this card said like target a play monster girl shuffle in the deck then draw a card then we're looking clean then this card's actually nuts um but we're gaining we're gaining life points what the deck does you know all that stuff and the last one i think obviously being like the big one helping you to extend every single turn as long as your life points are safely above um you know your opponent by over a thousand you're just able to get a free monster back from grave every turn which is super super nice so um that's pretty much it these are the five cards we got i actually really like the support is it going to make arrow mages good pro absolutely not is it going to make arrow mages maybe the best um like plant deck out there i think it probably passes sylvans we've already got some really strong like generic cards uh like lone fire blossom that the deck can take advantage of i think this is nice i think i think we've got spooky dog with the new hand trap that like is really nice in arrow mages i think arrow mages are looking clean and maybe we will see it to take a regional uh top up in the future season but we'll have to see i think they are looking really cool though um, I'm going to leave it off there though guys I don't want to spend too much time The video is already getting kind of long But I had a lot to say about a lot of these cards They had a lot of, a lot of effects and stuff So um, I'm going to end it off there guys Thank you so much for watching this episode This episode, <laughs> this video um, If you want to see more stuff from me If you want to stay more up to date on Yu-Gi-Oh! news Definitely subscribe to the channel Guys, more, more is coming I promise, I know I had a couple days where I wasn't uploading uh, I worked three doubles in a row And also, my power died Like in my room, so I literally couldn't turn on my computer So, I had some stuff going on But I'm back, we're, we're on it, we're rolling Don't you worry And uh, I love you, thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in the next one, peace